All right, well, while we head over to this uh, safe house and this dead drop, I think it'd be fun to kind of talk about a bit of the stuff about the, um... I think it'd be kind of important to talk about some of the stuff about the, uh, I want to say the Brotherhood, but no, the Railroad. It's kind of interesting. I didn't realize that what happened with the, the brain wipes and stuff, I didn't realize that had a chance to, like, kill them. Like, they really, to my knowledge, they don't really bring this up at all during the during the Railroad stuff. So it's kind of dumb to me because it's like, you would think, Curry, Curry, where the fuck are you? Curry? Oh, here you are. God damn, that scared the fuck out of me. I was like, where did you go? <laughs> Seeing her with that minigun is great. You got this fucking, got this little cute girl and she's like just decked out and fucking minigun ready to tear shit up. Gotta love it. Alright, let's do the safe house. Clear all hostiles at point. Mr. Tim's here. Randolph safe house was not hit. But do not make direct contact. Repeat, do not make direct contact. We got three packages. Very scared packages here. Requesting assistance. Our runner reports we got Gen 1's camp nearby. Assuming we're under surveillance. Please have a heavy clear the area. Coordinates enclosed. After, please pass our status back to Big D. Mr. Tim's out. Interesting. Guess we can go do this. First things first, though, where are these fuckers at? Oh, no, that's security. Aaron said. I'd much rather be stuck silent. Again, I have survived the hostility. <laughs> oh, my God. That's gonna get annoying after a while, but for now, that's actually kind of funny. Wait a minute, I've killed the raiders over here before. This is how what I was talking about. God, this gun isn't as good as I thought it'd be. I need to get like one of these in auto. Oh, holy shit, that looks so fucking cool. God damn, this is so stupid. It's stupid, too, because I wonder how much this stuff, like, really affects, like, some of her, like, I don't know. I really think her being a robot was better for her than her not being a robot. Like, to me, it, make, it, it makes no sense, and maybe, maybe I'm missing something, but personally, it feels as if, hey, you know, if you're going to, like, where do I need to go now? I didn't actually look at the map. Oh, my God, we gotta go all the way down here. All right, well, it's a bit out of the way, but, you know, I guess I need to start discovering a little bit further south, but... I don't know, to me it, it makes more sense because you have all the time in the world to be able to do these scientific processes. Her only thing is, oh, well, great scientists were never robots, they were humans. And it's like, okay, but were robots around long enough for that to be relevant? And they kind of gloss over it. Like, I, like... Great, didn't, didn't mean for this to happen. Are we done? Hopefully we're done. <laughs> Wait, did she say, did she, is the relevant term Yahoo? That was cute, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, Kate's got some competition. You know, it's funny, um, I make the joke with me not, um, I need to get out of here. It, anyway, I was just gonna say, it's, it's funny that I make the joke that, uh, I can't remember if it's Cat or Kate. And, uh, it reminds me, because back in, uh, grade school there was always this, what was it? No, was it grade school or was it... I forgot what it was, but there were... <laughs> I, I always had these girls that I didn't really know a lot about, and I was like, ah, oh, you know, kind of kind of into them. I'd like to be like, hey, girl. But I never knew their fucking name, and it's like, I don't... Like, how the fuck do you start a conversation like that? Like, this is back in high school and shit, you know? It's like, hey, I'd like to have a conversation. Oh my god, how many fucking people are here? Holy shit, no wonder why. Is this where I needed to go? No, it's not. Well, if only I had the ash maker with me. Well, guess we're fucking shit up today, guys. I'll take your sniper rifle bolts. Thank you. Oh my god, <laughs> it took the head off. No, didn't even need to. Honestly, I want to take off this, um... There we go. Personally, I'd like to take off the scope. I don't think it's necessary at all. I feel like it gets in the way. Yeah, 
Yes, the one with the minigun is telling me things are violent. Thanks. God, this is amazing. Giving her a minigun was fantastic. It's really dumb she doesn't have the unlimited ammo. Like, it's, uh, well, limitless ammo is how they put it. I don't know. I don't know what makes it so different. Because if not, I wouldn't mind giving her a bunch of, like, you know, laser weapons or shit. You know, I got plenty of them. Wouldn't mind decking one out. I could probably give her the Righteous Authority, too. Alright. This will still be a bit of a walk. I wonder if we're going to run into Meyer Lurks now. I'm surprised I'm don't, I don't get addicted to drugs and stuff more often. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I'm like, I swear there's something I need to do in my menu, but I'm not going to do it now. I'm going to do it later. Uh, level up time. What should we do? Armorer would be a good idea, because the more we get that up, the more I can start just finding random shit and then obviously building a bunch of stuff into it and having unlimited fucking damage resistant. And honestly, I'm going to need that soon. Oh, and part of my rules, if I do upgrade them at all, I will not fuse them with the armor pieces, FYI. They're going to be... they're, they're not going to have that, so... Just want to let you guys know that. I'm not going to mix and match those. You know, I'm going to add them on the rifle, man. Most of my weapons are rifles, or basically rifles, so I might as well. Hello there, Mr. Raider. Don't know why you guys died, but, uh... Ooh. I wonder what that note's about. Probably another item quest they're going to take us to. You should definitely go this way. Scavenger's note. One of the caravan guards said they passed by hallucinogen. Oh, no, I already got one for this. God damn it. All right, it is what it is. Like I said, I am going to do that one later because I forgot what the quest is for, but there is a quest we already go, though, so there's no point. University point. So this Randolph safe house seems like it's another quest thing that doesn't matter, honestly, so. Oh, you know what? I think I do remember this one. Oof, this is actually probably going to be a pretty big one. If this is what I'm thinking of. That's right. Oh, I remember this one. Alright, this is going to be a bit of a quest. I say quest, but like... I do wonder, do we got ourselves some... Kiri, I don't know where you're at, but I'd appreciate if you could keep it down. Cryo mines. God damn it. Yep, so we do have synths here, and a lot of them. And when I say a lot of them, I mean a lot of them. Boom, baby! You know, you don't have to say that shit out loud now. You're not a robot. And here comes Curie fucking shit up, like she always does. Uh, that car's gonna go off, Curry. Curie. I don't know why I'm saying Curry, like, uh... The food. It should be Curie, because she cures stuff. Oh my god, you look like a fucking toddler with that big-ass hat on. <laughs> it looks like the kids who have, like, the, the forming hats on, if you know what I'm talking about. The ones where their their heads are grown a little bit, uh, in, you know, they're born, they have a little bit misshaped heads. So as they're growing, they have the hats on, so that kind of fits into place. Uh, it looks like that, <laughs> except for it's, um... You know, those things are actually kind of interesting and fun, but the, uh... The sense ones are boring. Anyway, we got some vault tech suits here. I got a lot of other stuff here. I guess I can come back here off screen and take that. But yep, there are synths here and they have taken over. Let's see. And if you can't notice, this place used to be a regular place. There's shops in there. There's some other stuff. Yeah, here we go. Here's a bunch of uh, razor grain. So this is stuff that they could eat. So, but all that stuff is, uh, he's gone. Oh, can I take a nap? Okay, apparently I can't take a nap. I guess I'll just take drugs then. I probably have enough stim packs for days, so I'm not even worried. Is that a hollow tape in there?
Got it. I am definitely going to run out of space by the end of today. Sylvia's hollow tape. I think this is what this is. Sylvia, I don't care what Bert says. You don't have a right to know what kind of danger they're in. Look, the youngsters may think the Institute is just a ghost story, but I know you're old enough to remember the attacks. I know you feel for the girl, but she brought the trouble down on us. She and her father need to answer for it. If we give the Institute what they want, or just give them the girl even, maybe they'll leave us alone. Oh, so it seems like they caught, somehow got their hands on a synth and the uh, Institute found out. Interesting. God, look at all these emergency frequencies. It sucks I don't listen to these, especially because you got to turn on the fucking audio to do it. Sorry, the radio to do it. And that's a chance I could run into listening to copyrighted music, and I'm not having that happen. Anyway, that's an already dead sit, so that's just a sign of more happening here. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit of lore here. This is one of the places I do remember in the game. Ooh, the mayor's terminal. Welp, can't go much further than the mail. Town council log, ca council logs. Special session brought to order. Mayor address the town regarding visitors. Visitor claims to be the agent of the institute. Claims the settlement is in possession of a valuable pre-war tech. Heard that it was found by a girl, Jacqueline Spencer. Floor open for discussion. Uh, Glad Maxwell asks, how can we be sure this isn't a trick? Uh, Pete Owens suggests Jacqueline be given up to spare the town. Uh, Gerald Spencer threatens Pete. A minor fight breaks out, quickly quelled. Uh, Mayor uh, reigns order. It should be brought to vote tomorrow. Meeting adjourned. Okay, 228581. The first one was uh, 8112. Sorry, 812. And this one's 81. I don't know the dates on that. It's a little bit weird. Oh, we got a password. Um, uh, meeting brought to order. Council votes on crop export limits. Export limits uh, capped at 20% of yield. Uh, Cody Cole found playing in the credit union vault. Uh, council votes to forego punishment at this time. Council votes to change vault password. New password is Meyer Lurk Cakes. Meeting adjourned. Okay. And this one's uh, seven one. Uh, meeting brought to order. Discuss you. Discuss you. Discuss funding, and then a bunch of jarbled mess because it got corrupted or something. University mail relay. Uh, M Lawson, give up our kids. Mayor Strick. Oh no, that's from Strickland Propane. Uh, Betty said that our Mar that Martha told her that we've been having secret meetings with agents from the institute and agreed to giving them our children. Then Will told me he heard the institute having a nuked planted somewhere and they're going to detonate it if we don't give them the whole harvest. What is going on? Holy shit. Anyway, C. Cole, sorry about Martha. I asked Martha to wait to see what you and the council uh, figured out rather than going on rumors, but we... But well, you know how she is. I'm sure she got an earful. I know I have. Look at it's not my place to say, really, but I think you'd be you'd better try to get ahead of this. Martha and Perry are spreading rumors pretty fast, so you'd probably better call a town meeting. M. Cole, the Institute? What is, all, what is all this I've been hearing about the Institute is going to attack if we don't give them Jacqueline? I understand that your children are, gr are grown and moved away, but I have children here. How dare you keep information like that from us? We have a right to know about the threats to our safety. Anyway, G. Spencer, Jacqueline. Bert, I wish you had some... I uh, had to come... Bleh. I wish you had to come to me about this first. My daughter is a smart girl, and you know that. Heck, she's the one who figured out how to wire into the old university mail relay in the first place. What proof do we have that this guy was from the Institute anyway? If she told some traitor she had some valuable data, that guy might be working with your visitors. This is probably just a con. But now you've got Perry involved, and he's going to be out for blood. P. Owens, the girl, has to go. God damn it, Bird! I can't believe you're hiding uh, behind the council charter at a time like this. That damn Spencer girl is the one who brought the Institute down on us, and if we can't give them what we want, they'll wipe us off the map. These kids may not believe in them, but I know your sister was killed by synths. If she doesn't give over the data they want, I say give her, um, uh, give her to them. They can take it out of her hide instead of ours. So, yep. Yeah. Ooh, play tape? There's a tape in here. As a head of the town... Here, wait one second. I'm gonna, eject, I'm gonna eject it. There we go. Because you can't do the... Uh... Read the subtitles if you guys want to read this. As a head of the town council, I call this meeting to order. In attendance this evening, we have Perry Owens, Gerald Spencer, Sylvia Cooper, and my...
myself, Bert Strickland, as acting council head. Bert, what is all this about? I've got wheat that needs bringing in. Yesterday, I received a very disturbing visitor. I managed to record part of the conversation. It's probably best if you all hear it. I don't see anything about that in my records. What was it you said you wanted again? Don't toy with me. We know a girl here found some pre-war data related to energy research, and you're gonna give it to us. I really have no idea what data you think we have. We're just farmers and fishers. I'd be happy to ask around for you. Yep, so apparently this girl found some interesting data, and we're at a university. Oh. Did you keep your limbs? Oh, wait, no. You're frozen. You'll be you'll be Captain Tack. You're fine. Oh, there you go. Oh, my God. Oh, where the fuck did you find that? I thought you didn't have... Look alive. Do you need something from me? Here's what I have on me. All right, I guess she ran out. A moment, please. Oh, sure. What is it? I owe you so very much, and I do not mean to sound ungrateful, but I fear I am barely holding myself together. Are you all right? I just don't know. Becoming a synth is so much harder than I ever imagined. Yeah. At first, it was a struggle just to master basic functioning, how to brush the teeth, how to operate with only two hands, etc. But now I am full of inconsequential thoughts, feelings. How do you do everything with this whirlwind in the head? <laughs> Flirt. I hope some of these inconsequential feelings involve me. Yes. No. And see, now my head goes ever more. Spin, spin, spin. You make it look so effortless. Like breathing. But for me, it is so hard to focus, to do research. And the inspiration is as elusive as ever. I fear I will never contribute anything to the world. Oh, I gotta be mean. Your life is a gift. Start appreciating it. I am trying. Believe me, I am. The saving grace in all of this is you. As a robot, I had much appreciation for you. But now, it is deeper. I am still loyal. But now I do this because I want to. Because you are... My friend. Oh, how sweet. So, just friends? Nothing more than that? I feel very funny. I must cut this short. My eyes, they are malfunctioning. Adieu. Aha, successfully flirting, that's what you get, cat, for throwing me away. Now I'm going for the bad, uh, no, good girl. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, anyway... All right, I guess we will head inside of the university now. I have to beta dropping off some shit. This is quite the adventure, guys. So, uh, get ready. It's going to be lots of fun. Hopefully, Kiri doesn't lose a limb. She'll be pretty pissed. Could you fucking imagine that, though? Like, she actually, like, loses a fucking arm? Could you imagine how much pain she would be in? All right, so the interesting thing was we just fought since fighting off the, um... The raiders in the last part that we just did with glory and shit. Now it's going to be a little bit different. We are going to have, um... But now synths are going to be here and they're Hello? also... 
they're going to be fighting something else. That what the fuck? That definitely went down the stairs. Ooh, mechanic jumpsuit. I think I already have one of those, but fuck it, I'll take another. Nice. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> It's funny how how funny yet how stupid she is. Yeah, I get the bo wait. Only one boxing glove? What kind of bullshit is that? That's so stupid. One fucking boxing glove. <laughs> All right, looks like we got some more stuff in here. All right, was it Gerald's terminal? User logs. I don't know what to do. Josephine, I don't know what to do. Our daughter found something in the ruins, some sort of data. A man came to town and said he was uh, from the Institute. He threatened the mayor, and the town is in an uproar. We don't know if this guy is real or not, but he seems dangerous, and the rumors around town are almost worse. Someone accused Jacqueline of being a synth. People, sh uh, people she's grown up with her whole life, and now they want to give her to this man or throw her out of town or worse? I don't know, if she's a kid, it doesn't really make much sense to be a synth, because you want to do a synth of someone who's an adult, so it's a little bit more difficult to see them grow up. She actually did it. You would you would be so proud, Jack. That's what she likes to go by now. Well, she found your old notes. Oh, well, she found your old notes about the mail relay and begged me for weeks to take her into the flooded area when I went to hunt uh, lurks so she could... Oh, oh, what did I just say a second ago? Looks like we got some lurks we gotta deal with. Uh, so she said to try to find the parts she needed. Well, she must have found what she had been looking for, because she actually got this mail relay thing working. We can send each other's letters across town. Not sure why we wouldn't. Oh, not not sure why we wouldn't just walk over and talk to the person, but it's certainly more than uh, I was doing at 14. But yep, so apparently she's some very smart person. Josephine, it's been three years since you died. I still think about you every single day. I wish, I wish you could see how much Jacqueline has grown. Last week was her sixth birthday and gave her your old toolbox like you had always planned. The next day I found that she had disassembled half the stuff in the store. She looks so much like you now. I miss you so much. Oh, how sad. Makes it even more sad that everybody's dead. Probably not that guy. Oh, yay. Laser pistol. It's weird the thought that they probably come in here when there's so many dead bodies everywhere. That's it. Oh yeah, while I was off screen, I was thinking about something. I was going through the jockey, the the jack jockeys, whatever the fuck it is, place. Oh, see, it's a disassembled uh, machine. That's actually kind of smart, smart way to show that she was probably breaking into it. But no, I was uh, thinking about it. Like you have all these newspapers and shit everywhere on top of tables and cups and everything. You're telling me no storm, heavy ass storm came through here and, and blew half of that shit away. Like you got to be kidding me with that shit. All right. Anyway, this is the one girl's terminal, and as you can see, she's all. She's all smart because she does the, what is it, the ax the Axie art. I think that's what it's called. ASCII? No, ASCII art. That's what it's called. ASCII, not Axie. My journal. I wish it wasn't in this fucking circle thing. I fucking hate this shit. There's a holotape in here, too. Maybe I can take that out. Mom's birthday was yesterday. Th Dad and I left flowers on her grave. He was telling stories about her, and I kind of mentioned that I don't really remember what she looked like anymore. He said it was okay, but I can hear him sobbing in his room. Ugh, I can't take this right now. I'm gonna go scavenging in the flood area. Still haven't replaced my secondary hard disk after it blew out last week. Maybe, maybe I can find some new one. Sylvia also said that her network port, port has been acting up. Okay, good find. Looks like Dad has stopped crying. Hope he didn't realize I snuck back there by myself. I've gotten so good that the lurks don't even know I'm there. I didn't manage to find a replacement port for Sylvia, but I did manage to pull the hard disk out of the large console in one of the lecture halls. Some of the data on it seemed to be intact. I'm gonna poke around before I reformat. Who knows, maybe there's something interesting on it. Oh boy, score. Oh man, this is big. I managed to get part of the data off the hard disk, and it seems to be some research about reactor efficiency. Oh shit. Reactor efficiency. I could see why the Institute would want that. Power is everything. Uh, part of it was corrupted, but I might be able to find the rest somewhere. There was a caravan passing through, so I figured I'd see what I might get if I could find the rest of it. He said to the right person, that kind might be worth several hundred caps. We agreed to a 2070, uh, sorry, yeah, 2575 cut if he can find a buyer. Now I just need to find, now I need to figure out how to get the rest of the data. Oh, well, that was terrible. Today is terrible. Ugh. 
I haven't been able to make any progress uh, with finding the data, and the lurks have started laying eggs again. And to make matters worse, Dad just came back from the council meeting and somehow found out I had been searching the flooded area. He locked everything up and said I'm not allowed to do any scavenging. I tried to explain about the data and he listened, but then started acting weird and told me to go to my room and not come down until he sorts things out. What is going on? See, this is the weird thing for me. Why would they... Maybe I'm missing something, but why would they not replace uh, her instead of coming in? Because, like... Apparently they keep the memories in anything. They're pretty I, I mean, I don't know. I don't exactly know what the Institute does, but why didn't they just replace the girl? Why do they have to take off the whole town? What have I done? Oh God, what do I do? I've been getting mail from everyone in town saying that the Institute is coming and asking if it's my fault. Someone even accused me of being a synth. Somehow this must be, uh, they must have found out about the reactor research, but it's not even complete. Dad said that it was probably just some scammer or raider trying to trick us, but I don't know. What if it really is the Institute? I need to get back in there and find the data somehow. And that's it. Uh, here we go. University mail relay. G. Spencer, no more scavenging. Jacqueline, I'm serious. No more scavenging until this thing with the council blows over. I know people are scared, but I think this uh, this guy the mayor talked to is just a con man. The Institute hasn't shown up in a long time. Well, why would they now? I've been uh, calming things down around, and I think I've uh, got enough support that I can block anything crazy in the vote tonight. I'm not mad at you, but I want you to stay home and just don't stir anything up for now. Love, Dad. Uh, you stupid girl, P. Owens. Do you have any idea what you've done, you dumb brats? Think that just because they haven't attacked anyone in years that it's something that was all made up, but now the Institute is going to come and kill us all. Did you even think about that, you selfish little bitch? Your father says you don't have this data thereafter. But if that's the case, then for all we know, you're actually working for the Institute. And deleted mail. Uh, let's see, don't leave your home, it's not your fault. What actually happened, you synth bitch, not gonna die for you. Okay. Remote control, oh. Don't know what that opens up, but it, it's open now. And play tape, yep. Let's take this out. Let's see what this girl sounds like. Ooh, it opens the door to that. Okay, so that probably takes us to the Meyer Lurks. Okay. First, I just... I want to say I'm sorry, Dad. I knew I was onto something big, and thought I'd see what a traitor would pay if I found it. I had no idea that the Institute would be after any of this. And now the whole town is in trouble. I know you told me not to worry, but I just know that the town is going to vote to throw us out, or worse. I wasn't lying when I said I didn't have the data, despite what Mr. Owens and his cronies think. That's why I have to go back in. I know the key is in there, I just need to put the pieces together. It's something with that professor. If I can find it, maybe I can give the Institute what they want, and they'll just leave us alone. <laughs> Alright, anyway, what's this? Tell us a science. Energy weapons inflicts 50%. Oh, sorry, 5% more damage, not 50. 50 would be nice. Alright, full health now. Alright, uh, I don't know if I want to take the elevator or this. This one seems to make more sense. You know what? I'll take the elevator. Why the fuck not? Alrighty then. Now remember, we got our hands on some bad boys in here. Um, I actually think I have a lot of... Yeah, cocktails now, so. There we go. That should kill a fuck ton of those guys. Alright, so if you don't like dealing with, uh... God damn, how many things does this key open up? Oh, Curie, I almost... I almost shot you! Oh, that's right, this is the down below to up top, okay. Modern water is quite contaminated. Be yes, it is. Don't drink it yourself. But again, this is what I'm talking about with this ship. Like, she doesn't have to worry about eating, breathing, doing all this other shit, but all of a sudden, fuck me, I'm getting my shit wrecked. Oh, great, now I have to reload. Wait, wait, give me a second, give me a second. Yeah, me too. Yeah, this place is kind of a pain in the ass, honestly. I don't care about the eggs, I got plenty at home. Oh my god, did half of these not get destroyed? Does the- I, I figured the fire would fucking take their asses out. That'd be like the one thing- oh god, there's a lot of missiles in there. Pod me. Alright. I don't know if we can actually find the data. There we go. Why not the civilized discussion instead? 
with the Meyer lurks, you just said you'd you'd want to see less of that. Oh god. <laughs> Can I just laugh at that for a second? Engaging in defensive countermeasures, and then she just fucking socks him in the face. Like that was that was awesome. No, I wanted to no. Damn it. I wasn't sure if I already had a shot off, so I was, I was gonna use my critical there. What do you do? Right, I'm gonna eat one of those Mirelark eggs. Oh, did you grab an Institute one? How the fuck do you have Microfusion cells? I was about to say, you don't have any Microfusion cells. How the fuck are you using them? I really hate dealing with the hatchlings. They're just fucking obnoxious. If they were easy to hit, wouldn't be that big of a deal, but they're not. All right, we're finally running into the stuff that the... Attacking enemy. Stealth. Boom! I kind of was expecting you to blow up, not just stop and fall down. I know you are out there. I don't really care. Oh wait, damn it, I thought I had a frag grenade. All right, come here, bitch. Where do you think you're going, huh? 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 Where do you think you're going, huh? Huh? Hey, what's up? Probably should have saved that for the other one. Oh, love that. No, no. See, it's not as fun when they're robots. If they're people, their heads go boom, but if they're not, it just doesn't do anything. And you're kind of a bitch. Come on, come on. Come on, you can't tell me you got nothing else. Come on. How am I not doing any more damage? This is stupid. My arm. Oh yeah, that's right, my character can't fucking hold shit now. For a second there, I thought I was at a stem pack, so I'm like, I know I was using a fuck ton, but goddamn. Ooh, Jack Snow. Looks like we're gonna get some closure here. I expected this to be a lot worse. I think I died here a few times because I came here a little bit too early on. I don't think I came here for the uh, quest. To survive so many years undamaged, what luck. All right, well, first things first, we'll read the note. Here we go. Let's see what it says. Oh god, the Institute is here. I can hear them fighting outside. Dad, I figured out what the data is, but I think I'm too late. I'm sorry. Oh shit, what is it then? Institute probably already got their hands on it. Anyway, University Mail Relay. Oh my god, we got so much to read. Okay, this is gonna be a second. Sea Marsh, lab time. Took me forever to figure out what you meant about Leslie's birthday. It was a good idea, but we haven't been dating that long. I had to look it up in the student records in the front office. Don't tell her that. Anyway, while I was there, I overheard that Dean Patterson had an, had an alumni dinner this weekend. So he should... Oh, so he should out of your hair. See you Saturday. I can't tell if they do that shit on purpose when they misspell shit. Anyway, uh, let's see. A. Patterson, Leslie Matthews. I've got you now, you snake. You think I wouldn't notice how often you visit the student credit union? I'm sure it's merely a coincidence that you graduate students, Smith Matthews, Smith, bleh, Miss Matthews is always on a shift when you have to get, get something from your safe. You think it, you think it wouldn't reach me that if you, sh that if she disappeared for hours in this, wait, what? You think it wouldn't reach me that you and she would, dis would disappear for hours in the safe? Okay, I, th I thought he meant just her, and I'm like, what? Anyway, if you don't tell me the, the if you don't tell me what the construction was and what your research is about, I'll be going straight to the press and the police. God damn. Wait, is that supposed to be like him sleeping with students or some shit? Anyway, see Marsh, more time for the project. Professor Campbell, oh no. <laughs> this didn't work out for me, I decided to go make soup. I understand the need for secretary, sir, but don't you think that we could get more done if you have Leslie and I access the research without you having to be there? The accident was weeks ago, and you said yourself it was due to a bad fuss. Uh, Leslie said she saw the dean skulking around following you yesterday, and it's going to get harder to get work done if he's tailing you all the, all the time. Uh, C-O-L, I'm guessing Colonel or something. Rosmont sounds pretty serious about wanting to research as soon as possible. Anyway, regarding Cole Resmont, A. Patterson, uh, do that in the opposite order. The person who sent it is uh, A. Patterson Center. Uh, God damn it, Stuart! You, God damn it, Stuart! You aren't warm, warming your way out of this one. This Colonel Resmont, you insisted. I need clearance from, <laughs> from as nearly a, a, as insufferable as you are. When I went to him, uh, when I went to see him claim your research was classified and had me escorted from the base, you think you're so clever, but I know this is just one of your old army buddies helping you pull a uh, pull a trick. Don't think I won't be talking to our lawyers. Oh God. Anyway, unauthorized construction, A. Patterson again. Uh, the sender is A. Patterson. 
Uh, Mr. Campbell, first of all, you do not have my permission to call me by my first name. I am the dean here, and you would do well to remember that. Secondly, what is this I've been hearing about? Uh, you and officers from the army performing unauthorized construction under the administrative building while I was on vacation. This is absolutely unacceptable. You will explain to me at once what the meaning of this is and what you are researching. I have a right to know. Uh, a. Patterson is a sender again. Uh, Mr. Campbell, it has been it has come to my attention that you are con uh, contacted by the army regarding your research. I am the one running the university, and I have the right to know and approve all research programs. I know that your colleagues hold you in high regard and that when we brought you on last year, your contract guaranteed your tenure, but you don't want to make an issue with this with me. I am leaving this afternoon on my vacation, but when I get back in two weeks, I expect to be fully uh, apprised of the research. A. Patterson Dean, let's see, he went on, oh wait, no. This was back in February, not in, uh, not in February, sorry, September, not in October. Okay, that's all we know about that. Research notes. Uh, latest notes on energy research. Uh, ready, Alan? You're gonna be uh, you're you're going through my terminal now. I told you that my research was classified. Quit being pathetic, worm, and just mind your own. Oh no! No fucking way. She probably came in here. Jack got all excited, read that, and then a fucking oh that shit. God damn, that was oh no ah, oh, that's so sad. Wait, why are they? All of these have been in the opposite over order. Like, this one's the first one, and then as you go up, it's different stuff. Like, usually it's down. It's like, this one would be the 11th through the 15th, and then it'd be October. Okay, I'm starting with this one first, unlike I usually do. System error. Okay, never mind. Fuck off, game. Undergraduate class. Uh, grade, vacuum tube, circuit layouts, and in the class review for midterm. Graduate class. Continue lecture from last week about sub-wavelength phenomenon and uh, plasmonic situation. Discuss how these concepts may be used in the future for more uh, optimized uh, circuitry. Uh... Remind Curtis that he should find a way... Oh, find out when Leslie's birthday is, and that she wants to meet him at the credit union at 7 p.m. So, unless I'm missing something here, they got fucked. Like, everything was going to turn out well, and the research was going to be in this thing, and then it turned out not. Though, so it's funny to be that they're slowly trying to find the research terminal, and then it turns out to be that. Which, personally, something tells me... They specifically had the note over there because people were like, that's it? There's literally nothing else? Because that's honestly what it kind of feels like. Not not to be not to be mean, but that kind of what it feels like. You kind of actually expect something cooler to happen, and it just turns out to be that. Sweet. I mean, I don't know. I guess an anti-climax might be a climax in its own right. Right, and this is just, yeah, this is just the front. Okay, and this is the top of the building, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, that's basically it for everything in here. Yeah, it's cleared. Not really much else to do. Time to report back to Desmona. Desdemona, sorry. I forget there's a D in there. I think there's a few more things we can do up top here. But not to... Okay, never mind. I thought there'd be more, but I guess not. Okay, uh, before we go... You need something, yes? I have made some medicine for you, if you like. Oh, I didn't know that. You can give it to me. Your thoughts? All of these bodily functions. How do you keep track of them all? I am hungry, I am sleepy. The list goes on. Me too, Curie. Me too. Your thoughts? I find myself forgetting small details I knew before. The mortality rate of influenza C, was it 88% or 89%? Oh, so frustrating. You know, it'd be nice if she uploaded herself into, like, something so she'd have all that data, you know, fucking saved. Are things okay between you and me? It is so hard to wrap my head around what I feel about you. Before, there was only duty. Now, something more. <laughs> All right. I wanted to make sure things were okay between you and me. My feelings towards you are one of the few things I can process. We are, as you say, good. Okay. Just wanted to see if there was anything else. Uh, that was all. As you say. All right. Time to head here. So yeah, it's kind of crazy that Curie. I haven't really brought this up just because it's kind of crazy she can become human. I never knew this because I, like I said, I didn't really pay attention to most of the companions in Fallout 4. Uh, but it's just funny when I'm watching videos and she's human and I'm like, what? <laughs> Excuse what? <laughs> At first I'm like, who's this person? I look it up and it's like, what the hell's going on? Hey Desdemona, hope everything's been going well. Establishing Mercer safe house is a sign we're on the road to recovery. Thank you for that. Deacon's record is the best. 
You could learn a lot from here. I cleared out some Gen 1s for Randolph's safe house. When running synths out of the well, is still operational? Wastelanders can be a big problem. Oh, some good news. We thought they were another casualty of the switchboard disaster. But Randolph's been dark for too long. It'll be controversial, but we have to put them under quarantine. Is a quarantine really necessary? It's possible the safe house has been replaced by institute infiltrators. It's happened before. No, the smart move, the only move, is to keep them isolated until we know for certain. Our only communication with Randolph is going to be by dead drop. Check in periodically with Drummer Boy. He coordinates the dead drops for us. Thanks. So basically it's just gonna be another quest thing. Is that it? Is there anything else I have to do for the railroad? There's Demona. Based off what Deacon said, I expect great things from you. Okay. The curry really fits in here. I don't know. I think it's the flannel. A lot of these guys like to wear flannel for some reason. Hey, Glory. Sometimes this isn't the, the story's got it right. This tower. You kick you ass at Malden. Up there, assume you're being awesome. Okay, too many people are talking to me. It's annoying. The only thing that I thought was kind of nice is that Glory said that we kicked ass at the uh, spot that we were together. So, you know, she kind of she kind of gave us a little bit of shit beforehand, but now she's like, oh, you know what, you can't, you can't have a cool person, I guess. All right, but we're going to call it quits for today. I'll look into it, but I honestly think we're done. There's really not much else we can do for the, ins uh, not for the Institute, sorry, for the uh, Railroad. So, um, yeah, there's really not much else we can do. So, um, I guess next time, maybe I'll be there. I'll probably do it as like a side thing. I know we kind of did Curious today, but we also did the Faction stuff. And then we will head on and continue onward with the story. And trust me, guys, it's going to get very interesting. So, anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this session. I will catch you guys next time. This is Mike June II, signing out. Take it easy, guys.